A huge thank you to everyone who's continued to support my work on Talk Beliefs. I now have a Patreon campaign where all contributions go towards the cost of travel, audio and video equipment, and fees to religious events that I fully intend to continue to infiltrate. Thank you. Who are the Hindu gods? Originating in the Indus Valley over 5,000 years ago, it is the world's oldest surviving religion, with 750 million followers. It is so old that there are no known founders, authors, or prophets. Hindus believe in one god, Brahman, as well as the hundreds of other forms of Brahman. These gods are sent to help people on earth in their daily struggles, as well as to help them to know God better. The three most important Hindu gods are Brahma. Brahma is the four-headed creator of all things. In order to make the world, he created his own goddess wife, with which he produced the human race. Vishnu. Vishnu, also known as the Preserver, protects humankind and keeps cosmic order. He is often represented resting on the coils of a snake. Vishnu wields four weapons in each of his four hands, ready for him to incarnate into human form so that he may battle demons. And Shiva, the Destroyer. The god Shiva brings destruction in the most purifying of ways, as in the destruction of the ego. Shiva has many forms, including Nataraja, who dances for the good of the world, revealing the cycle of death, birth, and rebirth. Other Hindu gods include Ganesha. Ganesha is the elephant head god, perhaps the most recognizable of all the Hindu pantheon. He is the lord of all existing beings. How he got his elephant head is still in dispute. One story tells how an angered Shiva cut off Ganesha's head, only to replace it with that of an elephant. Master of wisdom, Ganesha possesses no less than 32 different forms, offering protection to devoted Hindus. Krishna The eighth avatar, or incarnation, of Lord Vishnu, Krishna is the god of pure love and happiness. Brought up on earth by a cowherd's family, he became the protector of cows. The focus of the Hare Krishna movement, this god was known for his amorous relationships. Because of his rich romantic legacy, Krishna has been represented in more paintings, poetry, sculpture, and music than any other Hindu god. Ram The warrior Ram is known for his azure blue skin and mighty bow. Ram is the seventh incarnation of Vishnu, coming to earth to battle the cruel demon king Ravan. Ram married the beautiful princess Sita after proving himself by bending the bow of Lord Shiva. Eventually both Ram and Sita became king and queen. Shakti More energy force than God, Shakti destroys demons and preserves the balance of things. All gods of Hinduism utilize the Shakti force. This mother goddess wields the power of creativity and female energy, and is the focus of Tantra Yoga. Kali the goddess of time and death, Kali is one of the most intimidating of gods. Known for her protruding tongue and multiple arms, Kali possesses the ability to paralyze demons and ignorance alike. Hanuman Selfless and brave, the monkey god Hanuman began his life as a naughty youngster who played pranks on others. His powers included great strength and the ability to quadruple his size, which was very helpful in fighting demons. Hindus often select a personal god or goddess to revere, nurture, and pray to daily. This worship may take place at a temple or mandir. It can also be celebrated at home, at a shrine that is constructed in one specially selected section of a room. Every morning the god is awakened with a prayer, and then presented with offerings, which may be in the form of music, food, flowers, or incense. Hindu families often adorn their homes with depictions of their gods' sojourns on earth. 
For some Hindus, the stories are accounts of events that actually took place. Others, however, refer to the accounts as simply beautiful stories that offer inspiration. The stories of the Hindu gods are told in the Bhagavad Gita, a Sanskrit scripture that dates back to the 5th century BC. One's personal god can be taken with you anywhere, even on the dashboard of your car. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Talk Beliefs.